Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Rachele and together with Camille, we will walk you through the processes behind the umbrella species conservation strategy. To start off, humans for decades have been modifying and affecting the ecosystem in numerous ways. But just recently, humans are more aware of the negative effects that human activities having on biodiversity systems. This broader knowledge led us to finally understand that something needed to be done in order to protect nature. And finally, scientists started to implement conservation strategies with the goal to decrease the degradation rate of biodiversity. But the big question here is, how did they do this? Well, there are plenty of different conservation strategies that can be applied based on the need of a specific ecosystem, but we can say that surrogate species are the most commonly applied in conservation and management processes. For surrogate species, we intend a lot of different concepts, such as flagship species, keystone species, and umbrella species. These are highly interconnected between each other, but in this video, we will mainly focus on umbrella species. Umbrella species is a concept that has been proposed as a way to use species requirements to guide ecosystem management. Its main premise is that the requirements of demanding species encapsulate those of many co-occurring, less demanding species. By directing management efforts towards the requirements of the most exigent species, one is likely to address the requirements of many cohabitants that use the same habitat. In simpler words, the conservation of some species is thought to provide a protective umbrella to numerous co-occurring species in the same habitat. This means that this strategy is faster and less expensive because it samples only few species instead of serving the entire ecosystem. This positive cost-benefit ratio makes the project more appealing to investors and governmental bodies. This seems all very nice and simple. But the truth is that there is little empirical evidence on the effectiveness of this approach, and rarely it has been addressed rigorously. Thus, due to this uncertainty, scientists question if this can be an actual valid approach or if it's just an utopian idea. However, many scientists and authors in the past years have been trying to assess the empirical validation of this concept, and this is exactly what we are going to talk about. One article that really caught our attention and that we're going to analyze in depth is the one from Thornton and others called Assessing the Umbrella Value of a Range-Wide Conservation Network for Jaguars. This paper tries to find an answer to the queries regarding the uncertainty surrounding the umbrella species strategies. 